Hey, what's up? I am Dr. Marcella Wilson from MarcellaWilson.com and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to set up a self-hosted WordPress blog. So, I already want to say congratulations for starting to do something that you have dreamed about and wanted to do. Congratulations in taking the first step and thank you for letting me help you. I love helping people. I've helped so many people set up WordPress blogs and I'm going to help you too. So I don't want you to worry. I want to reassure you you're in good hands. Okay? You don't have to be tech savvy. You don't have to be some kind of computer guru. <laughs> okay? These are simple steps that you can follow and at the end of like 20 minutes you're gonna have your own blog set up okay so essentially I'm gonna show you step by step you'll just be looking over my shoulder I'll show you the cons computer screen of exactly what you need to do and what you need to enter okay so don't worry I don't want you to get all like you know I'm intimidated by tech I can't do this you can do this no worries I'm here to help you okay cool this is a tutorial for setting up a self-hosted WordPress blog. So hopefully you know what a self-hosted WordPress blog is. If you don't, no worries. I do have a link on this page about what a self-hosted WordPress blog is and why you need it. All right, so let's get started doing the thing I love the most and that is teaching. So if you don't know what I do, I am actually a computer science professor. Yes, I have a blog, MarcellaWilson.com, but I'm actually a computer science professor and I teach grad and undergrad students computer science and information systems. So like I said, you're in good hands. I want to reassure you that about that. All right, so before we get started on the step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up Bluehost, I want to give you four super amazing reasons why you should go with Bluehost. And these are things you need to know about Bluehost anyway. Um, before you sign up with them, you want to know these things. The first thing that Bluehost offers is reliable service. Now, your blog is going to be up 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Bluehost can guarantee that your blog will be up and available all the time. You don't want to have a blog where, you know, servers are always crashing. You know, people can't get onto your site. That is a nightmare. You're not going to have to worry about that with Bluehost. I want you to feel confident in them that if you sign up for Bluehost, you are not going to have the issue of your blog being down. And that's a horrible feeling because you have no control over that. I want you to trust and have faith in Bluehost that they are working hard on the back end so that your blog will never go down and it will be always um, up and running and available on the internet. All right. The second thing that I want you to know that is so amazing about Bluehost is that they have 24-7 tech support. Now, this is also very important because I've been blogging for several years and um, a lot of times I blog in the middle of the night. <laughs> you know, I have young children. As I said before, I'm a professor. And sometimes the only time I get to work on my blog is in the middle of the night or very, very, very early in the morning. Something goes wrong. I accidentally delete something. Something is not working right I call tech support it is so reassuring to know that tech service doesn't close at 8 p.m. Eastern time it is open 24 7 there's always somebody there to take your call they don't have you on hold forever this is really really an important feature because in the past I have been with um, 
I've had web hosting service with companies who say shut down their tech support at, you know, like 9 p.m. or, you know, 5 p.m. on the weekends. And trust me, your stuff is going to go wrong when tech support is closed. But tech support through Bluehost never closes. And I feel so good about that because I know whatever happens, I can call them and someone is ready to help me. That's a great, great, great thing that they offer. That's a great service that they have. All right. The next thing that is so amazing about Bluehost is that they give you a free domain name. A domain name is a unique web address on the internet. For example, my domain name or web address is www.marcellawilson.com. It's unique because no two people can have the same domain name. So when you type marcellawilson.com into the computer, it takes you to my blog. Okay, um, a domain name is like the address of a home. So another way to think about it is, you know, there are millions of houses, apartments, condos and townhouses in every city, but each one has a unique address that identifies it from all the others. So essentially your domain name is like the location of your website or your blog and Bluehost is going to give that to you for free. Cool, right? Now you may already have your own domain name. You may have come into this with, you know, you may have gotten it through GoDaddy or whatever. So if you want to set up a sister blog or you want to start your own blog, um, Bluehost is going to give you a free domain name because normally that will run you about, you know, 15 bucks. So just by signing up with Bluehost, you're already saving money and you're getting a free domain name. All right, and if you already have one, you can just get another one. All right, so the last thing that is, it's the last thing that I'm going to talk about, but it's certainly not the least, and they have many, many more amazing services they offer, but I want to keep this video short. Um, they offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So when you sign up for your service, you get to try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it, you can call Bluehost and get your money back. And they are so confident that you're going to love their service that you're not going to do that. But they offered that to you as just a, you know, guarantee. You can actually try it out for free. So you've got nothing to lose um, in signing up for Bluehost. It only takes six short simple steps to set up your web hosting service through Bluehost. I'm just going to show you really quickly what those six steps are and then we're going to do them. I'm going to show them and you're going to do it okay but I like to start with the end in mind. I like to show people what I'm doing so they just kind of know everything and then we'll go through it in detail one step at a time. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to select your plan we're going to set up your free domain name. Then we're going to create your account. You're going to enter information to create, create your Bluehost account. Then you're going to pick the web hosting package that you want. Then you're going to make your investment. That's a fancy way of saying you're going to pay for web hosting service. All right. But it is an investment. So that's what I like to say. Last but definitely not least. To actually set up your blog, we're going to install WordPress. And that's probably the easiest step of them all. You ready? Let's get started. Let's go to MarcellaWilson.com slash Bluehost. Again, that's MarcellaWilson.com slash Bluehost. Now, this is an affiliate link, which means that if you purchase something using this link, Bluehost will give me a percentage of their profit. So I'm going to talk more about affiliate links at the end of this video. Okay. Next, we're going to click that big green button that says get started now. And that's going to take you to another page where we're actually going to select your plan. You have 
three plans to choose from for web hosting service. You have the basic, the plus, and the prime plans. I recommend you go with the basic plan for $3.95 a month. Now, you will be billed all at once when you sign up. Okay, so you're not going to receive a, a charge for $3.95 a month on your credit card or anything like that. You're going to pay all at once. So I recommend you just get the basic plan because the pro and the prime plans are for bloggers who have a lot more images, documents, and content on their blog. They're getting a lot more traffic. Um, they have uh, teams of people that are running that blog. So since we're just starting out and we're not there yet, I want you to select the basic plan. So click that green select button under the basic plan for $3.95 a month to choose that plan to get started with. Now let's move on to step two where we're going to set up your free domain name. Right now what we're going to do is sign up for a new domain name. Now for the purposes of this video I'm going to assume that you need a new domain name meaning that you haven't that you don't already have a domain name that you registered with GoDaddy or someone else other service like that. Now if you've already got your domain name, no worries. I still got you. I'm your girl. I want you to look on this page and I do have a link to some information on how to still sign up for your Bluehost web hosting service with an existing domain name. You just have to do an extra step. But as I said, for the purposes of this video, we're going to assume that you need a new domain name for your web hosting service. Next, I want you to type in the domain name that you want for your new blog. Then choose the extension you want, .com, or use the drop down list to choose other extensions. I recommend .com but it's totally up to you. Then I want you to click on the blue next button. Now what's going to happen is Bluehost is going to check and make sure that the domain name that you want is available. If it isn't, it's going to send you back to this step and you're going to have to re-enter another domain. And once uh Bluehost finds one that's available, it's going to take you to the next step where you're going to create your account. Let's create our Bluehost account. Here you're given the option to use Google single sign on to create your Bluehost account. Now I would never recommend this to anybody. What this means is whatever you use to sign into your Google account is what Bluehost is going to use to create your Bluehost account. I don't recommend this because if someone gets unauthorized access to your Google account then they're going to have access to your WordPress blog through Bluehost. So someone could hack your blog. So I am a big, big supporter of having um, a separate logon username password for each account that you have. I don't agree with, you know, using Facebook to sign into other accounts or using Google to sign into other accounts because, like I said, it makes it easier for someone to get access to more than they need, and you don't want that. All right, so what I want you to do is scroll down and start to manually enter your information to set up your Bluehost account. So this is pretty straightforward. I want you to enter your first and last name. Um, if you have a business account or a business name, it is optional, but you can enter that as well. The country, your address, city state zip code phone number and email address we are moving on and we're already on step four where we're gonna pick your package okay remember in step one you selected a plan well 
the plan that you chose, which I recommend it was the basic plan for $3.95 a month, is going to pop up here. You see the first line says account plan. All right, so that is a drop down list. So if you change your mind and you want, say, another plan, you can pick it. But as I said, I recommend the basic plan. But you do have two options for the basic plan. You can choose a 36 month basic plan or a 60 month basic plan. So remember, Bluehost is going to charge you up front for whatever plan you choose. So if you get the uh, plan that's $3.95 for 36 months, even though that comes to $47.40 .40 a year, they're going to charge you $142.20 up front. Okay? Um, if you want to choose the $5.95 a month package for 12 months or a year, you can. It's up to you. That's going to come to $71.40. Forty cents for the first 12 months so but I want you to remember that Bluehost offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you're not happy with your service um, you haven't lost anything you can get your money back like I said I recommend the 395 service because it's the cheapest and it, trust me your blog is going to be around for more than a year so go ahead and sign up for that. Now I would uncheck those other boxes. You don't need that. Just uncheck them and let's move on to the next step. We're at the next to the last step where we're going to make an investment in our blog and in our business. So this page is pretty self-explanatory. I want you to enter all of your credit card information the name on the account, the expiration date, and the code on the back of the card. And please read that paragraph of text which talks about payments and renewal. But more importantly, I want you to click on the terms of service, the cancellation policy, and the privacy policy. Read those so you know the rules and the regulations and what Bluehost offers you and what they expect of you. Read that when you're done and you agree, check the box and then hit the submit button. In this final step, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your blog. Once you've made your payment, Bluehost is going to take you to a congratulations page. And it's a perfect time to say that. Congratulations for setting up your WordPress blog. But WordPress is also going to offer you other options for your blog that you can add on to your service. Well, I don't think you need these right now. Just scroll down and click on the no thanks. If you want it, you can get it later. Next, let's create a password for our Bluehost account. So click the blue create your password button button. Now it'll take you to the screen that'll give you the opportunity to create your password. Bluehost can create it for you or you can choose your own. Again, please make sure that you've read the terms of service, cancellation policy, and other documents they provide. If you agree, check and then hit the green button. Bluehost control panel will pop up and I want you to click on the install WordPress button. Next, let's link your WordPress and your Bluehost account together. This is a great feature. So what I want you to do is enter your domain name into that text space and then click the blue log into WordPress button. Then you'll see the same page, but with a status bar letting you know the progress of your WordPress installation. Next, you'll see this screen letting you know that the installation is still taking place and the accounts are being linked together. Then you'll see this screen, which lets you know that the installation is complete. 
Bluehost and WordPress are connected and you'll be taken to your WordPress dashboard. This is command central to your blog. Everything that you're going to do with your blog, you're going to do right here. Now, I do want to let you know that um, if you look um, on this page, I have some links to a tutorial on how you can create your first blog post, how you can actually write your first blog post. I'll walk you step by step through that as well. But as for now, you did it. You're done. All right. So what's next? Where do you go from here? Okay. So I do recommend that you install a WordPress theme on your blog. So if you're wondering what a theme is, a theme is like the design of your blog. You know, you want to make it look pretty. You want to um, give it an overall look and feel. So you have two options for this. Um, there are lots of free themes available on the internet or you can actually pay for a professional WordPress theme. Now I am a, I've, I've used both. I've, I've had free themes on my blog at a point in time and currently I have a theme on my blog that I pay for. And I am a true believer in that you get what you pay for. So the option is up to you. Now you may be wondering what I use on my WordPress blog. As I said a second ago, I use a paid theme and what I use is Divi by Elegant Themes. And let me just say, it's a game changer. I have struggled for years with my WordPress themes and uh, trying to get it to look the way I want it to look and um, when I began using Divi by Elegant Themes it's been a game changer you know you can customize your blog to look exactly the way you want it to I will never use another <laughs> theme for my entire for as long as I have a blog okay because they're amazing so if you're interested in Divi by Elegant Themes or you want to learn more about it, click on the link on this page and it will give you more information about that theme. Um, I will say it is an affiliate link. So I do get a, as I said, I do get a small commission from um, affiliate links and that just helps me provide more services to you and my other clients from the small commissions that I receive from my affiliate links. So check it out below. Now that you have a WordPress blog, so exciting, but I want to make sure that you know how to use it. So if you need more information, you want more help, and it's okay if you need more hand-holding or if you have more questions. I want you to go to this site, uh, wp101.com. Okay, I'm going to say it again, wp101.com. And it's a site where it's just all tutorials on everything you wanted to know about WordPress. They have videos that are easy to follow, easy to understand, and I'm sure if you have a question about WordPress, you need, you need help you can find it there. So you can also find that link on this page as well and again it's an affiliate link as well. Okay so throughout this video you've heard me talk about affiliates or affiliate links or being an affiliate so if that's something that you're interested in and you want to learn more about that there's also more information about that on this page as, as well. It's a way for for me and other bloggers to make money off of their blog. So if you are setting up a blog where you are trying to profit from it, um, you know, being an affiliate is a great and very, very easy way to do that. So check that out if you're interested, okay? Kudos to you, you have set up your WordPress blog and um, I am proud of you. All right, <laughs> you did it, I knew you could. So if you 
need any more information about blogging, um, check out my blog, MarcellaWilson.com. I'm always there for you there. And um, I am so excited for you and your blog and all that it can be and all that it's going to be. Congratulations on taking a step towards your destiny, towards your dreams, and just keep moving. Do something for your yourself, your blog, and your business every single day, okay? All right, I'm going to go shoot some Instagram pics, <clears throat> then I've got some laundry to fold, and that's... That's real life right there, okay? So I'm going to get out of here. Congratulations to you, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye, guys.